Creative TV channel. My name is Veronica Willifield and I am a mixed media artist. And welcome to my studio! Last week I wore a brand new t shirt and accidentally spilled some red paint on it. I was really upset with myself until I realized that I can fix it and I can make a brand new fabulous fashion outfit for myself. One of Dala's brand new products is Reactive Dyes. It works exactly the same as the dyes in the tie dye kit. And I am going to use it today to try and fix these red spots I have on my shirt. So I found these 125 milliliter spray bottles in my studio. And I'm going to experiment a bit today and mix the dye in the spray bottles and spray it onto the shirt. I am only going to mix pink, yellow and turquoise because when the sprays overlap I'm also going to get orange, purple and green. I am going to recreate a vibrant, colorful, 70s looking fashion t-shirt that will draw a lot of attention when I wear it. This will surely make an artist statement, especially if I wear it to the workshops I do. Okay, so I've prepared my bottles, I've cut the tubes um, to size and I am going to mix the um, reactive dye with um, lukewarm water in the spray bottles and I'm simply going to spray it. Okay, so the dyes come with specific measurements, but today I'm going to wing it because I'm experimenting. So in a 150 milliliter bottle, I am going to insert 10 scoops of the reactive dye that I am scooping up with a lollipop stick. Now, if you've used the tie dye kit before, you will know that it is important to rinse your garment in soda ash before you dye it. But because I don't have any soda ash, I'm also going to experiment and not use it and see what happens. Those of you who are familiar with my work know that I like to use paints and mediums in unconventional ways and methods to try new things and um, see the results. After all, art is about expressing yourself and as an innovator, that is exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to fill my bottles with water and for the next few steps, I'm going to see you outside with photo slides. In this image, you will see that I started spraying blotches of color and I'm going to alternate between the three colors until I have six vibrant, beautiful colors that covers the whole shirt. Just like this. I am not too worried about what the patterns look like because I am going to do screen printing over it as well as puff painting. But first, I want to play with some bleach. I have the script stencil and I am going to see what it looks like if I try to bleach these words onto the shirt. Now I realize that the bleach is a bit runny for stenciling, but I'm going to try it anyway. And although it did not turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, it still makes for an interesting pattern background and I can see a few words here and there. Okay, so to have more fun and just make it more interesting, I used a sponge with some bleach on it and I just 
put a few blotches here and there to see how the dye will react with the bleach in the sun. The colors are vibrant and beautiful, but I know because I did not use soda ash that some of this vibrancy is going to wash out and the colors will be more toned down and faded, but it's exactly how I want it to be. Okay, so my t-shirt is dry and I forgot to take a picture of it, but it turned out beautiful pastel, almost rainbow colors after I washed it. I'm using a silk screen stencil with Dala's white fabric paint just to put some script all over the background. And now comes the fun part, another experiment. I am going to try and use the Dala puff paint on a stencil. After all, if we don't try new things, we will never know if it works. Okay, so I am going to use white puff paint and instead of a stencil brush, I am going to try to paint it with a soft brush. Dala's Golden Teclon brushes is perfect for this because I want my puff paint to give a smooth effect. Holding the stencil down, I use the soft brush to paint inside the gaps of the stencil instead of dabbing it like you would normally do with a stencil. At this stage, I am not sure how it is going to look if I use a stencil instead of painting fine lines, but let's hope that we will get a beautiful printed heart. Okay, so I'm painting a thin layer because I don't want to put too much paint inside the stencil because it is runny and I don't want it to bleed. Trying new things always excites me and I can't wait to start um, heating this puff paint to see how it will react. So for now I am going to quickly finish this and you can listen to some of the music while I do it. Okay, so you can't really see it, but it looks perfect. But now I have to wait 30 minutes for it to dry before I can see what it is going to do with my heating tool. Okay, now for the moment of truth. I am going to take my heat gun and I'm going to start blowing hot air onto the puff paint and see how it reacts. You can also use a hair dryer. It works just as well as a heat gun. Oh my goodness! 
goodness, this looks fabulous. I love it, I love it. I just love how it turned out. And what I am going to do is I'm gonna speed up this video so that you can see the effect of the puff paint. And how it reacts when it's heated. Wow, just look at this. I have found a new favorite dollar medium, that is for sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. Because I used photo slides in some of the segments, if you have any questions about anything, you are welcome to message me through Facebook and I will answer all your questions. I can't wait to see you next week. Until then, bye for now.